This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Good plan. I'm a good planner. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine, but there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you it is not me oh my god go i'm going I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Talking down at the site, it sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. 
No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls, to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. Hey, you... Uh, you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Lila, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception.
freezing in here. Is anybody down there? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. But like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. He left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. 
Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. find out what do you think whatever it is they don't want you telling anyone about I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with this shit right now a, a hatchet god are you sure you want to go back in there no i think i'm probably good bring on jail you'd probably just get probation i'd be the one stuffed away in the lusk women's prison for the next 10 years So, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right.
Ah, oh, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway.